Yep. Okay. Hi, my name is Hayden Gardner, and today I will inform you about how to show a show pig. Um, I'm qualified to show you how this works because I spent 10 years as a 4 H member showing pigs each of those 10 years. I've also been down to the Indiana State Fair and watched them show down there, along with uh, expos or other shows outside of the state fair and the county fair. So why do you need to know how to show a pig? Well, seeing how a pig is showed, you can see the market to where the pig is, go is going, what the judge likes and stuff of those natures. And then you'll also be able to tell what's going on in the ring and uh, you'll be able to know what the end goal of the people showing the pigs is. So firstly is the attire and equipment. So first off, when you go to the fair, you'll see people showing and they'll generally be wearing a collared shirt. I have plaid on, it can be any color. Then they'll generally be wearing jeans and then boots also, you see, boots. But gen now it's going more towards like hey dudes. They're wearing hey dudes instead of boots to show their animals in. And then for the equipment, <coughs> You're gonna have a brush, that is in right here, this little brush, uh, clipped to your back um, pocket, and that's for when the pig poops, you just wipe it off real quick, keep them clean and presentable to the judge. <laughs> and then your second is going to be the stick you guide them with. Now this is a cane, this is like back in 80s and 90s and stuff, but you'll hit the pig like this to guide it. And we don't really use this much anymore, you probably won't ever see this in a show ring. Generally what you'll see is you'll see this right here. Now this little tassel right here will hit the pig on the underside of the chin. Right here, see? It's gonna hit the underneath the side of the chin and I'll lift the head up to make them walk nice. So instead of rooting in the ground, they'll be up and presentable to the judge. Now those are the attire and equipment that you will need to show the pigs. Secondly, when you're directing the pig. So when you're directing the pig, you want to, like I said earlier, you wanna hit the underside of the pig's cheek right here to lift the head and you want to stay back away from the pig also. Now when you're directing them, you don't want to be up beside the head because they'll want to generally go away from you. So that's why you see that guy standing back a ways right there. Um, and that just helps him guide the pig because the pig can walk and he doesn't have anything in his vision, obstructing his vision. That's why he stays behind because that pig's going to want to move away from him. Thirdly, I'm gonna talk about your stance when you're showing the pig. So your stance, you wanna be bent over and crouched over when you're showing the animal. Now this is because you wanna stay kinda of like, not hidden from the judge, but you wanna decrease your presence, right? You're trying to show the animal, not yourself. So if you're standing straight up and you're showing this animal, you're gonna be more present than the pig. So that's why you see, like in this picture right here, these girls, they're bent over uh, behind their pig, out of view of the pig, and even him right there, he's bent over in a good, like, athletic stance to show that animal. Now, finally, I will talk about the distance from the judge. So, the distance from the judge, you want to stand between 10 and 20 feet away from the judge. Now, this gives you a great um, visual of that animal walking around the ring and you working that animal. Now, what happens is these pigs, they'll understand where in and out is when you go into the show ring. So when you bring them into the show ring, you try to keep them in that 10, 20 feet. But what happens is they'll go far away and then the judge can't look at them properly or they're over in the corner rooting, but they'll remember where the door is. So they'll go over to the door and try to get back out where they came in at. That's not a good visual. Secondly, is when you get your pig too close to the judge. Now I've seen before where they don't have their pig trained enough to where they can walk around nicely to the judge and they'll knock the judge over and the judge isn't looking at anything if he's trying to get up off the ground. So that's another big issue when it comes to showing. Also, you never really want to be in between the pig and the judge. So in this top picture right here, so you'll be able to see everyone is facing that direction, looking that direction, and they're behind their pig. Like this girl right here is behind your pig this way. So I'm assuming that judge is off the screen there to the left. Now this individual, now she's doing about everything wrong that you want to be doing when you're showing. So here she is, she's in between the pig, the judge. Secondly, she's trying to hit the pig on the opposite side of where she is. So she's trying to drive that pig back into her. So that pig doesn't want to go that way. And then she's all the way at the corner of the um, 
show ring. So that pig's just trying to get out and she's trying to get it back in by hitting it towards her. So that's about everything you can do wrong when you're showing the animal right there. And then, and then to cap off the hitting or directing. So the pigs, when you're hitting or directing them, um, it's just tapping. You're not slamming on the pig. Um, this is just to show like um, giving guide to them and you hit them underneath the jaw and the shoulder and that that's generally where you want to hit them so you're not bruising any meat on them um, so that stops the bruising and it also hides some of the marks so on white pigs their skin is real sensitive you'll be able to see anything on them so by hitting in the, those spots <coughs> it's less um, hard on the uh, meat and then also it's harder to see for the individual so it doesn't look like they're like abusing their pig but it's just really sensitive skin so in conclusion after learning these four steps in how you show your pig you how to show pig you'll be able to tell when you're in the show ring what's going on you'll be able to know whether they're doing the process right or they're doing it wrong and you'll also be able to tell um, if the animal is getting hit in the wrong spot, that you probably don't want to buy that animal from that person showing the animal off to the judge there to eat later on. <clears throat> By knowing this, you'll be able to understand what's going on in the ring, and you'll be able to understand what's happening at the fair and the, and the overall um, purpose of the person showing their animal. Thank you. Are there any questions? So I've only been like a couple 4-H events and it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you guys ever heard of like Danville in Indiana. They have usually like hold a big fair for yep. 4-H. Yep. So like what? Perch. Get ready. What is like, what happens here? Like what, what is the point of like the whole event? So do they have a normal fair like where they're showing animals like once a day? Yeah. So generally.